Why, hello, too. Today we're going to talk about the Doors of Perception by Aldous Huxley. This is the uh, the two books in one where it has Heaven and Hell in it, too. And barring un any unseen uh, issues, next Thursday we'll talk about Heaven and Hell, which I have not read yet. Which I thought I, I thought I read Doors of per uh, Perception, but apparently I haven't. So it's not the book I thought it was. Aldous Huxley, uh, born July 26, 1894 in the UK. I, I can't pronounce the town. I'm sorry. I don't... Godalming? Godalming? I don't know. Died November 22nd, 1963 in LA. Uh, he was a prolific writer. He has something like 50 uh, published works. He was also a screenwriter in LA worked on some uh, fairly well-known movies that I don't remember. Uh, he was uh, big into philosophy, philosophy of the mind, social philosophy, um, techni technolo technological philosophy, is that even uh, a thing? Uh, he was a mystic, believed in mysticism and things like that. And he was of course really big into psychedelics. Uh, the book itself, published in 1954, uh, it's still in print. You can you can go out there and buy a brand make a new copy today. Uh, a lot of times you see it in this, the twofer. So if you can get it in the twofer, even better, right? Uh, so in this book, basically what he does, one day in 1953, he took mescaline for the first time. And he just kind of documents... Uh, his experience and so he he takes it and then he just kind of analyzes himself uh, the way that interacts with his mind he also uh, you know analyzes how, what it does uh, when it comes to like art you know um, religion which he got a lot of backlash on the religions on the religion aspect of it which I mean I guess on the one hand it's warranted on the other hand though you know a lot of other um, people in the um, in the you know the counterculture also uh, use it to open up the doors of their minds and to kind of get to areas that takes you know many years if not a lifetime to get to just naturally through things like medica uh, medication meditation and things like that uh, <clears throat> he also argues that you know you could that there's no reason why you know like me mescaline mescaline geez this is this is a rough video uh, there's no reason why it's illegal, whereas things like alcohol and tobacco are illegal, which you get that all the time in these sorts of uh, debates. You know, alcohol and tobacco, of course, are uh, incredibly addictive, can be quite dangerous if abused, and things like that. And, you know, just kind of, you know, there isn't a, a big... Uh, big mescaline uh, uh, lawyers and lobbyists and things in Washington DC whereas you know alcohol and tobacco of course have a stranglehold you know of, on our politicians and things like that that you know I don't know maybe one day you know maybe one day but probably you know on a na nationwide level probably what not gonna happen anytime soon uh, you know, whatever, you know, <clears throat> but, you know, you know, I don't really have an opinion one way or the other, because, um, I'm, I don't do drugs, you know, I'm, I'm old, I'm not hip, you know, even if it was like, I probably still wouldn't do it, but I still like reading about it, and I think that it's one of those things that, when it comes to psychedelics that you know it, it's not really harming anybody 
if if somebody is you know dropping acid or eating mushrooms or whatever you know, especially if it's in like a um, like in a kind of more of a controlled uh, setting where you know you have somebody that can guide you and help you if you need help and things like that but it's a very interesting book uh, Aldous Huxley, I'm a huge fan of Aldous Huxley, I, I, even though, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of his, um, of his fiction, I do like his contributions to the, the counterculture, um, he was part of, uh, the, the Harvard psychedelic, uh, thing that got Ram Dass and Timothy Leary in trouble, he was a, uh, Oh, a consultant on that. I don't think he really stuck around too long for it, though. Along with, you know, many others, Alan Watts and uh, Houston Smith and just all sorts of people. But I find them infinitely fascinating. Um, I don't have an actual biography on him, which I should. If you guys have a suggestion on a good bi biography or even, I don't know if he did an autobiography or not, I'd be uh, very interested in knowing if uh, which ones are good i'm sure there's multiple but yeah uh doors of perception excellent book even if you're not into the whole psychedelic stuff uh, it's still really fascinating and if you want something that as a suggested like if you've read this and you want something else or maybe you've read this other book and you were looking for something else uh, that's the psychedelic experience by Timothy Leary, uh, Brad Metz Metzner, and Brad Ralph Metzner, and uh, Richard Alpert, uh, A.K.A. Ram Dass. And basically, this is the guidebook to psychedelics: uh, what to expect, um, what what you should do, and things like that. Uh, to kind of guide you through the whole experience, hence the psychedelic experience. Very interesting book. Um, it also, uh, essentially this book came around because uh, Tim and uh, Ram Dass, maybe it was just Tim, I can't remember, uh, got their hands on the Tibetan Book of the Dead, which I have right here. Ugh. This is the the Evan Wentz edition or translation, uh, but they quickly realized that the um, the experience you're getting with acid kind of uh, it's kind of the um, <clears throat> uh, it it follows the the uh, death process of monks and things like that and that's what this is this is this is a book that prepares uh monks to die so yeah very i haven't read this edition i have read uh the um the dalai lama translated i think it was the dalai lama the, the big uh, penguin classic deluxe edition one very very dry stuff but very interesting uh if you're into that sort of thing so you know, just a couple, a couple books to check out. If uh, I'm, and I'm not sure if this one's still in print or not. I, I bought it used. I spent eight dollars on it. But that's it for this one, peeps. Let me know down below. Have you read uh, Doors of Perception? Have you read Heaven and Hell? Hopefully, we'll talk about that next week. Have you read The Psychedelic Experience? Have you read The Tibetan Book of the Dead? But uh, yeah, there's gonna be a lot more. Uh, books, you know, I'm, I will sprinkle in some other things. I have something already planned out for Saturday's video. Uh, I think it's going to be an every Saturday thing in July. We're in July, right? But that's it for this one, peeps. Cheers.